welcome to Substation 33, where we'll teach you to take this and turn it into a 3D printer. Let's get started. Finished with that ABS, with the ABS. So now we can actually start installing the bearings. So for this, we're going to grab um, some M4 um, washers. Now these are machine washers, so they're fairly, fairly small. So I've actually just got to grab onto these. Uh, these are M4 bearings, 604 ZZ bearings. 604 Z bearings. So, just, and what we, we've had a few problems with these screws. These are actually M4 screws, but they've actually been, um, you won't be able to see it, but they're actually triangular, they're not rubber around. It's just the way they've been uh, produced, manufactured. There's a manufacturing flaw. So, we just have to actually knock them through the bearing. So, they're slightly more, they're slightly over um, M4. So we've just got to actually hammer them through the bearings. So grab just the screw, you don't need to wash it at this stage. And what, I've, what I'm using is just a couple of uh, 608 bearings. You can use any, any, sort, of, any sort of thing that's suitable. You just need a bigger hole in there, and I just lay a washer on the top. Uh, probably with a, you know, at least an M4 hole in it, and just lay the bearing on that. And it's just to protect the bearing when you knock the screw through. So we're going to knock the screw. Okay, so grab a little hammer. Um, shouldn't really use a plastic nail. It's going to damage the plastic nail. And just hammer it through. Just make sure it lines up. That's one done, I'm gonna to have to repeat that. Right, that's all eight bearings done. So now we can actually install them into the into the X motor mount and the X idler. Doesn't matter which one you start with, just do the motor mount. So now we'll need to grab some washers for those parts. And you need to use a fairly small diameter washer because what we're trying to, we don't want the, the shell of the bearing rubbing, um, rubbing on the washer. So it's only the inner ring that should be touching the washer. So let's grab one of them with the washer on it. And I can't remember if I mentioned it, but the length of these screws, these are um, 16 millimeters long, approximately. So they're the M4s again by 16. Uh, pan head posi, just plastites. It's a plastic type screw. And you can tighten that up, and the bearing should uh, be completely free when you tighten it right up. And it doesn't matter if it sticks out slightly, it's fine. Next one. And I did actually forget a step. These are uh, these need to be drilled out because there's actually an there's actually an overfill there um, just to support the hole when it's printing. So it's like a support material. It's, it closes up that hole. So we've got to take a drill bit and drill through this side. So I'll just organise that. Okay, I've organised a drill with an M3 bit. So just carefully drill those out. So you don't want to. Um, Put an angle on them so just try and 
maintain the angle that the hole's at already. Take this one out and I might just swap the washer, but it could be a problem with the bearing. The washer looks alright. Maybe maybe faulty bearing. that part done. So I think next we're going to, could actually start mounting the motor. Probably put the motor on here and also the idler bearings in the next step. So we're going to fit the um, idler onto the X idler, the idler bearings. So I've grabbed a 40mm M4 bolt, a nylock nut, M4 nylock nut, 2 M4 um, machine washers, three M4 bearings, uh, seven mil spanner, uh, just a Phillips screwdriver, and an M4 drill bit. This holes are slightly too small. Just gonna clear that first. Let's grab your, grab your part. So the way we're going to set it up, uh, I'm just going to thread the three bearings onto the onto the bolt. Don't need a washer at this end. Uh, washer. And thread it through your, through your idler. So obviously I'm on this side, so it sits in that hollow. Still just enough room to get the belt through on that side. And just a washer on the other side. And then your eye lock nut. And I left it a bit longer. Sometimes we hang a counterweight on this bolt. We use that to put a counterweight on because it's a little bit light sometimes. bearings should be completely, obviously completely free and they're actually clamped to, oh no they're not, they're spinning independent as well a little bit, but yeah they're just spinning completely freely. And that's the idler set up, X idler, and next we'll do the, we'll mount the motor, we may need to just, we'll do that now, I'm just going to drill out the, drill out the motor holes. M3.2 So 3.2 millimeter drill bit. Let's clear those holes. They're slightly too small. Should be really close. And 
next we'll get the motor set up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.